Hello, Ian from Poker Atlas here, and welcome to our game creation and modification video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new game, and how to modify a game. Let's get started. Starting from the Table Captain main menu, navigate to Poker Room Functions. Find the Game Maintenance button and click it to bring up a list of all the games your property has available to open. You will notice that your games are, for the most part, grouped together by game type and that the game types each have a uniform color. Take note that our default color for must move games is black and that they will not show up on the player wait list or on the live wait list on our app and website. Now let's go over the fields from left to right. The active checkbox is an indicator that the game is open on your wait list to take interest. It does not mean that there is an open table if the box is checked. Name is where you would type the name of the game you would like to run, including the stakes. Short name is the shortened version of the name for the player waitlist, while color is the color the game will show up as on the waitlist, and also what table the color could show up as if you are not using our color-coded by occupancy feature. Display order is an important field that helps the waitlist know which order to display games. The lower the number, the further the to the left or to the top the game will appear. Desk calls and player calls tell Table Captain how many columns to put in both the desk waitlist and the player waitlist for that game. Max will indicate the maximum number of seats for the game. Information is a field that you can use to put your min-max buy-ins for the game or other information. For example, if you were running a mixed game and you needed to display which games were in that mix, or if it's a must-move game. Points will serve different purposes depending on your property. For a player club property, we use negative points to deduct time from a patron's account, while for a casino or for a room with comps, we use positive points to accumulate comp value. Category is an infrequently used field that does have some application for promotion setup if you're interested. The display column will tell the system where to display the game. PKR indicates that it will show up on the desk waitlist, and the WL indicates that it will show up on the player waitlist. The WL also allows the game to send call indicators to the desk computer from your touchscreens. If we scroll to the right, you will see that some games have information entered in the web option and the web order columns. These columns hide our must-move games from our live waitlist on the app and in our website. Further to the right is our internal ID for the games. You will never use this field. To create a new game, we recommend following the template the default games have given you. Let's try this now. Click New at the top of the screen, and you will see a new game appear at the top of the list. Let's make a 1-2 No Limit Hold'em game. Double click the Name field to change the name, and then work your way across the fields to the right. We will put 1-2 and LH as the name and as the short name to match the other No Limit Hold'em games. Click the color to bring up the color menu and assign dark blue to the color to match your No Limit Hold'em games. We will then set the display order to 105 so that it will appear before the 1-3 game on the list. Enter 1 in both column fields and then set our max seats to 9. Take note that if we were to set the column fields to 2, you would get two columns on the desk waitlist and on the player waitlist for names to appear. For information, I'm going to put a min and max buy-in of $60 to $200. And then I'm going to put 100 positive points in for players to accumulate comp value. If I wanted to make this deduct time, I would multiply my hourly rate by 100 and then enter it as a negative number. Finally, I'm going to set up my display and enter PKR and WL because I want this to show up on both wait lists and I want the call notifications to show up. For this game, we will not put anything in web order or option as we want the game to display on our properties page. We have now finished making a 1-2 No Limit Hold'em game for our property system. It is important to note that you should neither delete or completely change an existing game, as you will either lose 
or change all of the historical records for that game. Now let me show you how to modify or change a game that already exists. Starting again from the Table Captain main menu, navigate to your game maintenance page. Find the game that we'd like to modify. In this case, I'm going to change the 1 3 round of each. And the first thing I'm going to change is the information. To do this, just double click the field you need to modify and make the necessary changes. I've changed the maximum buy-in to 300, the max number of seats to 8, I'll change the color to green, and instead of deducting $10 an hour of time, let's award $1.50 an hour in comps. Now that all of our changes have been made, all you need to do is go back to the home screen. I have now shown you how to create games for your property, as well as how to modify existing games. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos from Poker Atlas.